What's up, everybody? Doc Doc1985. There's levels to this. All right, shout out to my dude, Rome Rush. I told you I was going to make a quick response video to your video. This is it. First of all, I respect the fact that you made that video because I know a lot of people are going to give you hate for it. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But here's the deal. Go watch this video, Rome Rush. Here's the deal, okay? My man was talking about frames and how to him, 30 frames for specific games is more than, than enough if the game looks beautiful. So those are his ca his caveats. Depending on what the game is, if the game looks beautiful, he'll pick the visuals over the frames and 30 frames to him is fine, right? Um, he mentioned how he enjoyed Ghost of Tsushima, which a lot of gamers enjoyed it running at 30 frames. A lot of people did. The Last of Us 2, a lot of people did. Um, when people were playing the first Last of Us, right? The first Last of Us was a, a instant classic. And when it first came out, I was running at 30. So a lot of games, GTA, right? GTA on consoles running at 30 frames, right? So GTA 6, I mean GTA 6, GTA 5, GTA 6, but not run at 30. But anyways, but here's the deal, right? The worst thing you could do as a gamer or the worst thing I did as a gamer was get a PC. Because once I got a PC and I started playing games that I was playing at 30 frames at 60 and I learned what an FPS counter was, that was it. It was over. It was done. It was done. I could not play a game, a game without the FPS counter on. It was like a drug. Ask PC gamers right now. They play with that dumb number up there for no reason. They really don't need that number. They don't need that number. PC gamers, you don't need that number up there. You really don't. It's either the game is smooth or it's not smooth, right? So I'll give you an example. Right now, I'm playing the Master Chief Collection, and if I'm not streaming, I'm playing at 120 frames, right? But I really don't know if it's 120 frames. I don't have an FPS counter on my TV. All I know is that it's way smoother than 60. But 4K 60 is still an amazing, enjoyable experience, okay? Now, because I've experienced so much of 60 frames, I'm being honest with you, I don't know if I would be able to enjoy 30 frames. I don't think I can. I'm not capping. I just don't think that I, I definitely could tell the difference between 30 and 60. I could tell the difference between 60 and 120, right? But when you're talking about anywhere between like 90 to 120 or whatever, then no, I can't really tell the difference. After a certain point, you can't really tell. It's just smooth or it's not smooth. And if the game is good enough, the gameplay is good enough, and the visual are good enough, they could get away with a subpar 60. They could get away with it. We might never know, right? So if it wasn't for Digital Foundry, a lot of us wouldn't even know what any of these games are running at, to be honest with you. Let's, let's be honest with you. Let's be honest, right? So I understand what he's saying. The problem is, Rome, is that we've already experienced it. So now it's hard to go back. I, I played the first Last of Us, the remastered version on the PS4, at 60 frames. I can't go back. I played GTA 5 on my PC. I downloaded it on the Xbox Series X. I can't play it. I can't. I'm getting, I'm getting, on my PC, I'm getting above 60 frames on GTA 5 can't play it on PC. I just, I just can't. Halo, the Master Chief Collection, being honest with you, for whatever reason, I can switch between the 4K 60 and the 1080p 120 because I see the difference in the visuals. I, re I really do. I, I sit like four feet away from my 43-inch TV or three feet away from my 43-inch TV. So I can see the difference between 4K and 1080p. I could definitely see the difference. 1080p is still playable, more than playable. It looks beautiful still, but 4K, the sharpness is just ridiculous. So that extra level of sharpness to, to still be able to play smooth when I'm streaming is fine. But if I'm not streaming, when I'm not streaming, I'm getting that 120 frames. Like, I'm not. Just because it, it just feels better, right? But you're right. You can enjoy a game at 30. It's just this generation that shouldn't be acceptable. 30 frames this generation should not be acceptable. Because again, they're raising the price. That's my whole that's my whole argument. What am I paying that $70 price tag for? What am I paying that $70 price tag for? Don't do that to me. 30 frames? Not fair. No. Nah. But like I said, Rome, I understand where you're coming from. And yeah, we all, all of us have enjoyed video games at 30 frames. We all have. Nobody could say that you haven't.
We have all enjoyed video games at 30 frames. But at a certain point, it's really hard to go back. I'm curious to see how many people could actually go back and how many people are just like, nah, I don't play anything below 60. Doc Dog 185, yo, there's levels to this. And uh, yo, when you make a video and you're honest and I can tell you're not capping, yo, there's levels to that too. We out. Peace.